Is the Pirates Cove excursion for the Norwegian Cruise Lines worth going to in Freeport, Bahamas? This video is going to be a review on Pirates Cove. Let's get started. So when you first get to Freeport, Bahamas, you're going to get off your ship at the port. Now, before the excursion, you always go to a port of some sort. I just want to show you guys some video of the port. It's your basic t-shirts, wood carvings, your senior frogs, basically everything you see in a normal Caribbean port. Now let's get going to Pirates Cove. So as you start your Pirates Cove excursion, you're going to take a double decker bus. It is around a 25 to 30 minute bus ride and I highly suggest you sit in the bottom level where it is air conditioned. The upper level is very windy and people were losing hats and other towels and stuff like that. So make sure you sit on the bottom level. So as you're walking into Pirates Cove, they do have your normal gift shop where you can buy towels and other beach items, magnets and stuff of that sort. One of the things I do need to tell you is that Going to the bar or where you're getting food, so the restaurant area, you will need a mask. They were selling masks for a dollar. So I just wanna give you that heads up. You bring your mask. The Pirates Cove layout is pretty simple. If you're at the beach and you're facing inland, you're gonna see to the left, you can get individual massages up to an hour. Then in the middle is your restaurant and bar area. You will get to know that place very well because there is unlimited food and drinks all day for four and a half hours. Then the next thing you're gonna see is the jet skis and water sports. I would say this was a very popular option. There were definitely a lot of people jet skiing, going on a catamaran ride. They're on the banana boats. Basically, they gave you a lot of different options to go on them, I will say. This was an additional charge and did not come with the excursion, but overall, definitely some fun options. So in the comments section, I can picture people asking, how was the food? And overall, just let's put a disclaimer on it. We are coming from a cruise ship that has very good food and we are in Freeport. We are outside Freeport, Bahamas in the middle of nowhere. I think here's a picture of the food. We have short ribs and grilled chicken, local rice, veggies, I thought for being in the middle of nowhere, I would give it a 3.7 to four stars because again, it's local, good food, but you know what, it is not your five star dining. So now the reason why you're all here. How was Pirates Cove Beach? Well, overall, I would rate this beach a four out of five stars. The water was beautiful, the sand was beautiful, and overall, it was a really good time. Now I do have to put a couple disclaimers. There are people trying to sell you things on the beach, which is normal in a Caribbean excursion like this. They're trying to sell you water sports, getting your hair braided and other stuff like that. So just give you that disclaimer, they do have that, but overall I did not feel like it affected my experience. So there is kind of a stipulation or issue we had with the beach. So my girlfriend and I, we would walk straight out into the Pirates Cove beach. We'd go in the water and we found rocks, rocks, big rocks, small rocks. I was tripping over rocks. And there was a storm before we got there. And so the whole beach was sandy. Now, luckily our friends, Al and his wife, Susie, we're on the same excursion as us and, and they told us go left 100 feet near the dock and look for the three looking tiki houses with the triangle shaped roofs. If you walked over here, the beach was fantastic. The sand was amazing. It was still part of Pirates Cove and it was a fantastic time. It actually turned around the whole excursion because hey, we were able to go in the water and not kill our feet. So let's get into prices and what you got with the excursion itself. So I took Norwegian Cruise Line. I am on the Norwegian Cruise Line website. And as you could see, it was $109 for an adult and $99 for a child. So what you got during this was the all you can eat food. So you saw the food, you saw the pictures, but then what you also get is the unlimited drinks. Now, remember, we're in the middle of nowhere, so the bar selection is limited. There is a fruity drink, you could get rum and Cokes, and you can have a very limited beer. I think there's only one beer you could choose, and it was from a local brewery. It, it kind of reminded me of a Bud Light or a Corona or whatever. The beer was pretty good though, I will say, but what you get for four and a half hours is food and drinks and the beach. 
So I just wanted to get into that and now let's get into the actual review. My personal opinion of the Pirates Cove excursion was that it was a very good time. I know the reviews online say it's a rough time, but I think that's just people complaining just to complain. You know, what you're getting on a Caribbean excursion is you're getting the beach, you're getting fed, and you're getting unlimited alcohol. I would honestly rate this a four out of five star experience. Please guys, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of Pirate's Cove. Tell me what you think. Hit that like button or dislike button. Thank you very much.